seismologists are warning large aftershocks could continue for days in Southern California after a powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake shook the region Friday night. The earthquake began around 8 p.m. Pacific time, it could be felt from Los Angeles, California to Las Vegas, Nevada and into parts of New Mexico. No fatalities have been reported so far. Joy Benedict joins us now from our CBS News station in Los Angeles, KCBS. She's in Pasadena, California. So Joy, what type of damage is being reported throughout the state at this point? Well, the good news is, Rena, that none of it is catastrophic, right? And that's, of course, what you want to hear. When you're dealing with a 7.1 earthquake up in Kern County, which is about 140 miles or so from where we are here in Los Angeles right now, but up there they're seeing um, cracks in the in the roadways, cracks in the in the highways that are up there. You're seeing some a little bit of minor damages on homes of that nature. We did have one mobile home park that had fallen off the blocks when the earlier earthquake hit on Thursday. That was 6.4, but with this 7.1, it seems to just be a lot of shingles, a lot of minor damage to the homes, no structural damage, and that is the best news when you're talking about damage. But as I mentioned, it's 140 miles away from Los Angeles, but we felt it here, and we felt it very strongly. It rumbled sort of around in my house here in L.A. for about 20 to 30 seconds, knocked some stuff off some shelves that I had here. So although none of the damage is here in Los Angeles, the damage is up in Kern County, it could be felt for, for quite a distance, as you mentioned, from here all the way up to Las Vegas. Incredible to hear you say that you could feel it, you know, in the sense also the fact that there could be more coming. This, this is the second major earthquake to hit this area in two days. What's the emergency response been like? Well, the emergency response has been very good. So even when the first one hit on Thursday, that 6.4, since we did feel that one here in L.A. as well, the city of Los Angeles, their fire department, activated their earthquake preparedness. What that meant is they went street by street checking for any sort of damage, and that's exactly what they're doing up there in the Ridgecrest communities in Kern County as well, not only after the 6.4, of course, but after the 7.1 as well. So they're still in the process of trying to survey all of that damage within their community, and that's something that's going to take a day or two as they are starting to get reports. And you also have to understand that after that first quake hit on Thursday, it knocked out a lot of power to the area. So the good news, a lot of the folks had left their homes and were staying elsewhere when that second quake hit yesterday because a lot of them hadn't had that power restored. So that probably meant a lot of good things as well. There are no reports of anybody being trapped or anything along those that nature. But you say the second big one, but the truth is we've had thousands of mm. quakes now in the last couple of days and we're expected to get many, many more. Yeah, and so interesting to hear you say that because of a lack of power, a lot of people had evacuated the area. So that is certainly good news that they weren't there. But how were the other residents? As you said, you felt this uh, so far, you know, 150 miles away. How were folks, not just in the vicinity, but around in bordering states, how were folks preparing for this, the aftershocks in the coming days? Well, it's scary, right? I mean, it, it was scary when I felt it the first time. I was at work Thursday morning. Last night, I was at home and I was laying in my bed. And it's since you're a distance away from the earthquake, it's sort of a longer quake. It feels like it. It's a rolling feeling, like I'm sitting on a cruise sh ship somewhere in the deep seas and the waves are kind of knocking you around. And it just kept going and going and going. And believe it or not, 25 seconds is a really long time when all the things are shaking on your walls. And as I said, my book were falling off the bookcase and things of that nature. I thought my TV was going to fall down. And so you hear reports of that again, 140 miles away from the epicenter of that quake. And what that makes you do is you start thinking about, do I have my preparedness backpack? Do I have my stuff ready to go? Do I have the water and the things that I need to take those precautions? And then you also start just talking. Being prepared for an earthquake is about talking about what are you supposed to do, how you're supposed to stop, drop, and hold on to something and that was really reiterated these last couple of days as we feeling these quakes because although this fault is a different one than the really large one that runs through Los Angeles it is a reminder of how dangerous these earthquakes can be how sudden they can be and how we all need to be ready for that big one that we've been talking about for quite some time I know it's so scary I want to thank you for your reporting and your personal take on all of this having gone through it as well joy thank you very much for joining us